Shorty roll me smooth as my Mercedes ride. Huh? No love, cry when only babies die. And when I go that cash, you better cost a hundred thousand. I pray to God I look my killer in his eyes. Snatch his soul out his shirt and take him for that. So we are talking about like how Nash is evil or like a traitor to help the Dark Triad. I can see where the theory is coming from, but we will explain it here. But before this video starts, we are joined with a second guest that is Co Spirit. Uh, I'll link in the description down below and on this channel. And make sure to get him to 400 subscribers. It will mean a lot with him and say hello, Co. <laughs> so like, what? Where did you get this theory from? To be honest, like where did you get it from? Oh, basically, I've just been seeing it like a bunch of posts on instagram and stuff like that or just throughout twitter but like the main idea just stems from the fact that like a lot of the dark members are being like bodied so easily right now and obviously it's not like with vanica it's a little it makes sense because charlotte's like countering first magic right but with yuno and xenon xenon is bleeding and he didn't even use like any of like his devil power like that yet so it's kind of like they're kind of just like they're handling them very quickly right and like my thing is let's say if jack and not beat dante you just happen to beat him because i don't think dante is that smart right i mm. mean he obviously is because if he was like he probably would have won against yami and asta if he i don't know his brain is just not his head is just not right <laughs> i'll just put it like that Dante's right. just full of winning though, to be honest. Like, yeah. he's never, like, none of the Dark Triads never lost before, so this is, like, their first time, like, experience it. True. But I feel like, um, what I'm trying to get at is that, like, let's say if not, and, um, that defeat Dante, right? And before Asta and, you know, Noel and the other, and the elves get there, right? Yeah. What's gonna happen? Because, like, they, because the tree is still getting bigger right and why like even though not just said he wants to stop this plan who's to say he doesn't actually want it to happen mm. like i because i am um, like because marie said oh the anti-magic probably won't uh it will destroy the trail cliff off but it would probably kill william and yamily that's probably mm -hmm. that's probably his aim to go because he he did say to it he hated yami so yeah, which is weird yeah because he was in the what's it um was it the ace of silver squad or the deer squad i don't know what no, ace yeah, of the gray deer. yeah and um yeah. that that couldn't be his brother because we saw a little um panel of his brother and his brother doesn't does not look like natch at all so this is definitely natch in the ace of deer squad so he is like doing something to the three because it'd, it'd be an epic like plot twist like say like the dark triad and lucifer uh senna's demon and magicla like oh we're gonna open up the trail cliff of the poor of the demons in like 500 years ago the next minute natch does something like <laughs> does something like he might we don't know if he wants to close the trail cliff off or he doesn't if he wants to open the trail cliff off because I mean, he's saying i think he's just saying he wants to close it obviously because he's on their side right now but i feel like once him like let's say once dante starts to get tired with jack and um knocked and like he, maybe he's losing i feel like knocked is gonna do something to jack mm. i don't know why i just have this like brain suspicion that like knocked is gonna be evil like it, it's weird the same with Julius too. I Yeah, there's theories around he's probably a demon or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, with Julius, like, don't you find it a little convenient that out of all the mages he got for his team, he got the two users, you know, a dark mat user and a world tree user. Yeah. Who you can use to make the quick ball tree. Do you not think and he can see pretty much into the future, or at least why he could have don't yeah Do you sure not enough possible that julius is like the mastermind of all of this and he's just yeah. making it like like um like yeah because I, I get that where you're coming from because if like because we remember we touched on to this you basically touched on to this in my the other uh video where we did like ages ago that <laughs> he is like a god or something something like that yeah it could be some type of like angel yeah. 
devil you could be like because remember um someone i think natural or um no i think it was nibe because nibe said there were devils as strong as lucifer because <laughs> and that they can have contracted or he could be contracted in that or he could be the devil in, itself right another possibility is that do you remember those lines whenever um julius and uh patry are fighting and Patry always kept saying that Julius, like, is he even human? Yeah, the, um, I think that could have been a hint thing that yeah. we don't know yet. To be honest, so, it is this is a fantasy story? It not it can't be just be devils and devils, devils all the time. So it could be touched right. on to a different being because I know God has been mentioned like so many times. Because you, if you right. look at you knows two modes, that they, they've got the window gods. So right, so Zephyr and the horse, yeah, is that what it's called or something like that? Yeah, because we I don't think we'll get a physical god, but we'll get like a spirit of god, gods. Because right, spirit the they wind spirit them. is yeah. classified as a god, but isn't like a high level god like uh the Boris mode or um the what's it what's the S one called the other Unis mode? Uh, the, Zephyr. Yeah, or that right, mode. No. Spirit yeah, something like that. So, it's like, if, I don't think we'll get a physical god, but we're gonna get like something that, oh yeah, plus, I saw a theory like the other day that Julius could be the Cronus Greek god, something like that, like the true yeah. evil, true lies to god, something like that. Dude, I legit saw something about that a couple of days ago too, because like, I'm thinking, and the reason I don't know because even from the start of the series I always thought that Julius was evil I don't know why it's just the way he was portrayed in the openings you yeah. know like he'll, the way he'll turn up and look at Asta it just didn't look right to me I was just like no like something's off about you <laughs> he just knows too much <laughs> like right. he yeah. predicted that the Clover Kingdom would get destroyed that did happen in the Dark Triad uh, the dark no, tri- I mean, like, I wouldn't say the whole Clover King. It was really just the it, Black Bull's base, more or less. Yeah, but the Elf Incarnation arc, it just got buildings got destroyed and all of that stuff. Right. And loads of civilians got killed off by the elves. So we don't, we don't forget about that. And then also, <laughs> Senon broke in somehow. It could be Natch. It could be like we go talk. We talk. Go back to Natch's topic because he has shadow magic. He can go through the shadows into another shadow. So there's one. There's kind of one plot hole. Tabata still needs to explain that. Like, how did the Dark Triad already have so much information about William and Yami if it wasn't being filled in to them by someone like Not yeah, be- or someone who had inside intel. Because, um, what's it, uh, you know back it way, like, near the end of the Elf Recarnation arc, you know you've seen them, what's it, mages trying to kill the king? They could be, like, an inside group in the Clover Kingdom, like, is working with the Spade Kingdom and just pretending to be a one part of the co- uh, squad, like, a traitor, you know, like, the UA traitor yeah, or something yeah. like that. That could happen uh, in this story. But I feel like if that were the case i feel like if he would want to want it to be like something stronger mm, to yeah. the plot you know what i mean like yeah to a, like major and i feel like it would probably be either knocked or julius because they're the two people who know the most at this particular point in time yeah and i don't see how the dark triad would know about yami and william like that Mm. Like, we go back into this uh, tree of cliff of being closed and all that. What will happen next if Natch and Julius or someone else is a traitor? Because the only way to kill Lucifero is Libe and Asta go to, to, through the underworld and they able to can go because they have anti-magic. So they can go through the gate. So what will happen next if this tree of cliff never happens, the maybe William or Yami might die we don't know so like what will happen next if Natch and someone else is a traitor I'm not sure because like I feel like the way I'm imagining it going is like let's say if Natch actually does betray them right yeah I'm imagining one of Yami or um, you know William will probably die one of them I'm not sure who (laughs) but 
I'm thinking Noct is going to do something to like prevent them. So prevent them from like stopping the tree from like expanding more or something like that. Because like at that point, I guess it will already be open. Yeah, because sure. it, they did say there's 10 layers of the tree of cliff up. So when they stop it, it could be on like third or the second layer. So more some devils will pour in and out, but some of them won't. Right. So, like, if, look, Zidnatch is a trickster because he has three other devil contracts. Because the right. devil contracts are, like, based on the German fairy tale. But remember, Tobasu can change that fairy tale into something like, say, these are three strongest uh, demons out there are, like, the same level or even more stronger than Lucifero. So, why would they open the Tree of Cliff off? if I got these three devil contracts with me. I don't know, because it seems like a lot of the demons just, like, want to cause mayhem just to do it, just because they can. But, like, I don't... I don't know if they aren't, they have their own, like, motives. The ones that yeah. Sinan, Bonica, and Dante have. I mean, we know Lucifero has his own motives, but I'm saying, like, Majicula and uh, whatever yeah. Zenon's devil's name because we don't know its name yet oh we might be think like thinking it like the whole different way around because the trio cliff off open up the poor of the devils but like you said before the other three devil have their own motives so if there's something bigger than the trio cliff off when it's open right that's what i'm wondering too because it's like let's if they open that tree or however that works it's like then what happens if like all the devils just pour out they're saying oh the world's just gonna end but i feel like it's not gonna end because the mages are there and they're gonna stop some of them but it's like i feel like i just don't see asta even at this quote-unquote full power that he's gonna have mm. i, I don't, don't see how he's gonna be able to beat like lucifero the way they piped it I don't think he's going to master all the devil units right away like Nash has because he's forced ability, like forcible his devil to give him power because Nash has done 50-50 relationship with his devil so the power he's going to draw out is going to be a little bit harder to do but because remember we saw a glimpse of the devil union mode he only had a like armor up to his shoulder and that's it. So I think we're just going to get that, like, the end of this arc. Maybe. I don't know. Because it's a little iffy. I'm a little iffy on Noct right now. Because I feel like he might... I feel like somebody is going to be a traitor. But I don't think it's going to be any... That's obviously not going to be any path. Because I feel like it's either going to be Noct or Julius or someone like them. Because mm. they just know the most out of everybody. Yeah. So, like, okay, the only, the most two people who knows a lot of stuff is Julius, because he predicts mostly everything, and it always comes true. Natch knows a lot of stuff about the Black Walls, and the whole Calibri Kingdom, the Spade Kingdom, mostly, because he's been spying on the Black Walls. He's probably been spying around the borders of the Calibri Kingdom and that. He's probably been spying to every single kingdom. Especially, right. we talk about Morris, because we've got Morris got later on revealed in this arc. So, oh yeah, I completely forgot about him, the science guy. So, what is his motives? Because he has to get like, some of the generals there. So, what is his motives? That's like, this arc is going to be very crazy because there's like people like going to portray the Dark Triad. There's people like Morris, he's going to do something with a demon or something like that. He's going to experiment on a demon properly. Um, Nash could be a traitor. Um, mm-hmm. Julius might appear again somehow. <laughs> um, but there's so many, it's going to be, I think this arc is going to shape up with a lot of big stuff we'll set up in the future. Right. And the only thing is, is that, do you think we're actually going to see, like, Lucifer, and I mean see, see him, not like that cloud thing that he was, mm. or like that silhouette of him. I'm we thinking, might like, get a glimpse of him at the like when the tree of cliff off about to close we might get a, a glimpse but if like the say someone tries to open it again in the future the only way to stop lucifero is as and nebo go through the portal from the the living world to the underworld I still feel like i don't know i don't like how could my thing is if 
if like uh, Lucifero has like gravity, right? Yeah. How could oh, Asta like how could I don't think you can counter like gravity with anti magic. No. Because remember, Lucifer Cause did say like anti magic is low rank. So, if anti magic I mean, is low, he could cut him, right? Yeah. But it's like he could just crush him with his sheer force. There's so much answers because this arc is like crazy after a crazy after a new new chapter, and like you can like you can you can theorize, but you don't know what's gonna happen next. Right. <laughs> this is it's like it's so hard to predict this arc. It really is. It really is. Like awesome. I'm, I done a prediction video like not like a couple of minutes ago, and it's only like four minutes long because I can't predict what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. So I didn't see Charlotte getting a power up like that. Yeah, I didn't. Like, I didn't see that either because because we all I thought the curse is from a different age. That's what, because remember, like, when the anime showed it, or the manga showed it, it looked like a woman. Like right. an old lady, so... How yeah, did... How that's did... Magicla curse them? But that was the fine translation, so... We don't know if it's on the official translations. Yeah, true. So... Yeah, I, this, this art, like... I can't, like, predict or say whatever <laughs> on this art, because... I, I don't know anymore because it, it just keeps changing and all that like yeah it keeps changing its pace yeah like, go on my thing is what is Zenon's devil's like name yeah like why do we still not know its name is it significant is it not mmm that's hard <laughs> like yeah like it's about Zenon's devil like cause he has it sounds magic is spatial magic and his devil magic is bones magic so what for some reason I thought Xenon's like base magic was bones for some reason but it's spatial yeah because we didn't ever got um official confirmation about his demon or magic powers oh, when yeah, we first true. saw him so we all so we all really know yeah yeah so it is very hard because we don't know Xenon's level he could be like like we said before, the whole this whole collusion of the fairy, everyone's gonna betray each other. So we don't know, we don't know what's gonna happen next. Right. Oh, uh, this, this is hard because Natch could be because I could see Natch betraying, like helping the Dark Triad, but he's gonna betray the Dark Triad as well. I don't know. I'm iffy on that because I I could see a betrayal. I don't know if he'd do a double betrayal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't have like the same weight to it. Now, do you think Yami will die? Because like, I, I did say, this. I did talk about this or text you yesterday about this, mm-hmm. and like I said before, I don't think Yami's gonna die because his story hasn't finished yet. Right, but at the same time, it's like every time Tabata draws Yami out, it's like he always shows his back turned towards us. That like we never see his face anymore. And I get that's just to imply that he's gone, but like, do you think it's like implying war that like, Sabacha's uh, like, hey, fair warning, I'm about to kill this guy off. Oh, uh, if that happens, so no more babies for Charlotte. Um, <laughs> um like yeah, I don't, like I don't I said, sense. like like I said before, like his story hasn't finished. He hasn't really taught as to like the moments he as it needs. Like, uh, yeah. like, you need to do this and do that, like, he just need, like, you know, like, France all taught him, um... Plus, I, plus I kind of want more fights with, between Austin and Yami. Yeah, like... I feel like we really only got, like, one to two fights with these two. Yeah, um, so, yeah. this is, this is like, um, what's it? I mean, like, William's story is finished, like, you, you can't, like I said before, like, you can't really they dive in... Off William, but, like... I just don't think it would be that impactful to me. I don't know, because, like, I kind of don't want him to die, because I want him to, like, do more good for the kingdom before he, like, was, if he was to die. Because I feel like he just hasn't done enough good to, like, really earn that. I don't know. Like, have a death like that. Uh, yeah, I, I get William is not really, like, a high-level character, and, like, when we read it, we're like, 
oh my god, you can't believe we died and all that. Like, when we, like, remember, remember when we had the Julius fight, uh, when he died and that, everyone's like, the draw bo- uh, moment, like, what the hell? What did I read? See, like, that? With Julius, I feel like he low key should have died, low key, because I I like how sad he was, but he came back, so I was like, all right. <laughs> like the we look at his arc. We look. We got how many? Ca- we got loads of characters in it, and the only people I see dying is William, Patrick, um, maybe Yabby. It's a possibility. Maybe Yabby, but. I, I don't know what's gonna happen because Tabata is just Tabata. Uh, right. <laughs> um, like, yeah, because I don't, I don't see who else would die in this arc because we know we need a impactful death at this arc that will... And I feel like as much as I hate it to say, like, if, it, if we're talking impactful, I feel like it has to be Yami, even though I hate to say that because it's like, my favorite character, so I don't want to see it die. Or like a death, we just need like a. I'm not saying like a overboard like they did 500 years ago in Ancient War, like the devils pour in and they're like killing children and killing babies. And killing and like, like uh, captains. And yeah, I don't want like yeah. I don't want that. Titan, but so. the the only they could do the similar route they did in Marcadamia. Like when they killed off Midnight and some unnamed heroes or some heroes we saw like once or twice. So they could do that way. Like they kill off William, they kill off um, Nozelle, they can kill off um, uh, Patry. I still feel like like with Patry and William it could work because I feel like their arcs are done. But I feel like with the other captains it just doesn't, it wouldn't have the same impact because we Mm. haven't been with them as long yeah because you don't see the other squads outside of the black wolves so it's hard to feel like their deaths the other like squad captain's deaths would be at impactful because we don't have that much time with them like that yeah like because look like this is hard because we we're we going off topic now but because right. <laughs> yeah but I, i'm gonna rename it as black liver shiz <laughs> um <laughs> but i don't know what they're gonna do at uh, during the deaths in his arc because obviously we know if the tree of cliff of opens up and the devil's pour in of course there'll be deaths like because why would the demons gonna come into the human world and play blooming transformers with them <laughs> play like pick them up and just play like, like play with them and like, they, they're obviously gonna kill them they're obviously gonna eat them they're gonna obviously do something to them because they, the demons poured in last time so they killed and eat they did what they want yeah, so we got that that really scary panel yeah <laughs> I don't know crap. you remember that yeah I don't know how <laughs> studio pirates are gonna show you that <laughs> Oh, insane. Yeah, like, we obviously, and plus, I'm not saying it's just the demons will kill. Obviously, <laughs> Senon might kill them, or Natch will, like, oh, after Natch rescues Yami, he might, act, like, stand, like, might stab him when he gets out of the coffin or something like that. So, we don't know. So, Wait, you think, oh, like, so, like, let's say um, they get Yami out of the coffin somehow, right? Yeah. Like, you're saying if not pick, like, let's say he, like, was about to pass out or something, not stab him or something. Yeah. Like, eyes in type mess. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. I mean, it would be kind of ironic because, like, this whole time we thought as a gag he was saying he hated Yami, but he was actually serious. Yeah, it's like if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, turn the bell notification, and never miss any video. My name is Soys and Co Spirit. We we'll see you later in a different collaboration one day. Slick talker since a jet. When it's time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh,